almost uh, mabuhay magandang gabi and maligayang pagbabalik sa akin channel ako po si Ovila I am your host Ovila and you guys have asked me to react to a special video let me read you the title presidential front runner bong bong marcos junior uh get standing ovation at hashtag smni the deep probe okay so this is not a video about singing this is not a video about belting okay this is a video about politics and about bong bong marcos apparently and before i even start this reaction video I'd like to let you know that tomorrow I may react to the interview between Lenny Robredo and Boy Abunda and I'll probably do it tomorrow. I wanted to react to it today but today I don't have the time. I will have more time tomorrow. It's a long video, it's an hour long video plus I probably will have to pause to not only read the subtitles that are in English but also to give you my opinion from time to time so it's, it's going to be a long video so I need more time but today it's dedicated to Bong Bong Marcos I honestly don't really know what I'm about to see there is a standing ovation somewhere in there all right before we start, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Music Game News because that is where you can DM me your suggestions. And without further ado, let's get to it. We're down to our last candidate. Ito na po ang huling kandidato na haharap sa ating... Live from Okada, Manila. Panelists sa araw na ito. So, the deep probe is, um, is a journal or something? Or, or a news channel? Ah, uh, no, it's SMNI news channel. Okay. Man, I've seen this picture everywhere. Everyone uses this picture in documentaries about the Marcoses. Ang isyong ibinabato laban sa kanyang pamilya. Nananatiling matibay at may paninindigan para sa bayan. Bitbit ang mga pangakong pagbabago para sa ikakulat ng bansa. Trabaho para sa mga Pilipino. Murang kuryente. Industrialisasyon. Kalidad na edukasyon. I do have one question as they're talking, you know, in um, in Filipino. I have a question about Bongbong Marcos and debates, you know, because I was told that Bongbong Marcos did not show up for the debate, that he was the only uh, candidate that did not show up. How is that even possible? Don't you have to be part of the debates to answer questions, you know, and to basically debate with the other candidates, you know, it doesn't make any sense to me. I'd like to know why he didn't show up. Uh, the only explanation that I came up with is that maybe he felt like uh, he was threatened, like his life was in danger somehow and that he's like an easy target during the debates, you know? So I'm, I'm really confused. <laughs> Sinabi ko na ako'y tatakbo dahil ang aking layunin, ang aking pangarap para sa ating bansa ay ipagkain sa muli ang sangin ng Pilipinas. Pagandahin po natin ang ating minamahal na bansang Pilipinas. Sama-sama po tayong papangulit. Tumatakbong Pangulo mula sa Partido Federal ng Pilipinas. Ferdinand Bongbo Marcos Jr. Is this the introduction of Bong Bong Marcos to a show or something? It's, it looks like he's being introduced like uh, a boxing fighter, you know what I mean? This is... <laughs> Look at the security! Wow. Mm. The paparazzi. The 
The music is so freaking dramatic, I can't believe this. I'm really surprised that they don't have an entrance from uh, the backstage, you know, or something. Especially if he's going to to speak on a, on a platform or some or something, you know, because uh, allowing him to enter via the main entrance, having to go through the audience and the public, that's a little dangerous. And they have to go to to, to protect him like this, you know, to create a path for him. You know, holding hands, the security. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, I didn't see you there. Well, now that you're here, um, why don't you celebrate uh, for making it this far into this video by subscribing to the channel, by turning on that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. And of course, and the most important thing, to like this video because it does help out the channel tremendously. And now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go back to my business. Wow, people are excited. Did you hear the claps, constant claps? The deep probe, okay. Here we go, so it is, is it like an interview? Just like uh, what he did with Boy Abunda, the, but this is just like a more official version of it. Do you guys think that he uh, likes the attention that comes with the being a, a you know, maybe potentially a president, you know? Oh my God, I feel like the music is more important and epic than the actual uh, venue. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. May we request the audience to please sit down so we can start the program? I brought all my relatives. Oh, I see. So they were seated because I saw tables. I saw tables, right? So they were seated. And as soon as he came in or came out, they got up to, to cheer him up. And that's why they said standing ovation. All right. It wasn't very clear. Everyone, can we ask everyone to please sit down? Because uh, I thought that most of the people that were uh, standing up, I thought they were part of the paparazzi and journalists. So we can start the program. Yeah, okay, so they're also eating and everything. All right. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Senator Marcos, you have the floor, and the panelists will be asking you questions. There we go. Okay. Wow, there is a panel of four people that will be asking him questions. Let's go. Okay. Oh, they have got to stop with the music. <laughs> Was this the music the same? Did they use the same music for other uh, candidates? Because man, this music is just so epic. Hi, good evening, uh, Mr. Marcos. Good evening, ma'am. 
if this were, I've never been to a campaign rally, but uh, if this looks like it and maybe multiplied so many times over, I can imagine the what are, what are you feeling? It's like euphoria, isn't it? It's, yeah, uh, it's, because it's, we're not even involved and we are feeling euphoric here. It's very <laughs> encouraging, ma'am, that's true. Okay, wow. I wonder if there is an actual, uh, well, if the video of them interviewing him does exist on YouTube, I wonder. Um, and I also wonder if it's in English, because if it's in English and if they are, they ask questions that are different from what Boy Abunda already asked him, it would be interesting to check it out, right? But if it's all again about the same topics, eh, eh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I mean, was it worth reacting to this? I don't know. It was a standing ovation, but I don't feel like the video really showcased how excited people were about him entering this room, you know, because I felt like the the it was too zoomed in on him and his guards. I wish they showed us like a a, a more macro vision of the room. But yeah, clearly, clearly people are excited about Bong Bong Marcos. I mean, I see it also with uh, my community, you know, my, the community on my channel. There are some people that are excited about Lenny Robredo and some people are excited about Bong Bong Marcos. Both camps uh, keep on sending me uh, messages and requests uh, to react to stuff and just, you know, giving me information about both camps. Uh, but clearly, I feel uh, people are more excited about Bong Bong Marcos. I don't know if they're excited about him because they actually know about him and really want him to become president or if they're just excited because of the excitement around him, you know? There is a huge hype uh, around Bong Bong Marcos and unfortunately that's how the world works nowadays with uh, social media and the internet. People are more excited about the hype and what people are saying around the subject rather than the subject itself you know they don't take the time to actually think about what they are watching and consuming they're more excited about you know uh experiencing that subject and then talking 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 about it with other people they like to bask in the hype so that's my question are you really excited about bong bong marcos and what he is able to bring to the table as a president of the Philippines? Or are you, are you just excited about the fact that it's Bong Bong Marcos Jr., the son of Bong Bong Marcos, who you guys, you know, know who he is, uh, you know, and everything he did, whether it be positive or negative to the Philippines. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Um, maraming salamat po. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, don't hesitate to tell me in the comment section below your thoughts on this video and everything that's been going on in the Philippines regarding the elections and uh, where are we with the elections? You know, who do you think is the front runner? Uh, apparently, you know, uh, it is Bongbong Marcos uh, if uh, you believe the title of this video. So is that true? I don't know. Um, take care of yourselves, have a great day, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Thank you for watching. Subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.